and up above us, the lights are starting to shake a bit. We don't know what's happening outside the studio at this time. It takes just seconds. Gas leaks, San Francisco burning. They don't know people are hit by flying objects. Well, people, basically, you are on your own tonight. To feel unsteady and unprepared. You can see this building is collapsed. Live picture from the Bay Bridge, which a section of the Bay Bridge has collapsed. Certainly the most major earthquake that many of us have ever felt here in Northern California. Then in 2019, Ridgecrest, California. And it was like, it was waves. It wasn't a shock. It was like waves going like this in the middle of the road. People around the town experienced a 6.4 and a 7.1 magnitude earthquake back to back. My high rise apartment, that little blue truck or that big blue Ram truck right over there. Their front lawns turned into their bedrooms. The earthquakes made their homes dangerous to live in. We went a long time without having an earthquake in California, one that was measurable. Now we've had one. The good news is that's awakened everyone's senses again. Look, these things happen. We live in earthquake country. Brian May with California's Office of Emergency Services showed us how to put together an emergency kit. Enough bottled water, protein bars are really easy, canned food is really easy, and we always talk about these are three bucks, the old-fashioned can openers, but they really could save your family's life. Make sure that these are available. It should all fit in a waterproof backpack that you can easily pick up and bring with you. Nowadays, the emergency rations are pretty easily available online. You can go to Amazon. This food has a shelf date of like 15 years. As you move forward, um, sanitation is going to be an issue if we all have to evacuate our homes for a while. So just a box of these wipes or a jar of these wipes will last for a long time. Normally, you'd be seeing the lights of Oakland and San Francisco. It's pitch black out there. If you obviously want a lot of batteries, you're going to need flashlights. Other things to put in your kit. Medicine, first aid kits for both pets and adults, glow sticks, and even toilet paper. And the one thing a lot of people don't really think about is if the power's down, that means there's no ATMs. And that means your phone may not work. So enough cash to sustain you, and that's hard for us to keep on hand. Communication will be tough. Have a plan. Know where to meet, who will pick the kids up, and how to get a hold of one another. Even designate an out-of-state family member to check in and act as a clearinghouse for information. And pick a spot that's familiar. It may be a McDonald's on this exit where the whole family knows where that is. FEMA encourages us to have two emergency supply kits. One to put at home and smaller portable kits at work, in your car, and other places you spend a lot of time. Other advice around the house. Make sure your pantry is stocked with shelf-stable foods like canned goods and dry ingredients like dried milk, pasta, and beans. A way to plan is to have at least 3,000 calories for each adult. Don't forget food for your pets, too. This is all to survive 72 hours after an earthquake. What are we going to do? I mean, we've just lived here forever. But ideally, many need to be prepared for more than just three days. What we heard from police tonight was the fact that they're telling people pretty much that they're on their own tonight. Think two weeks. To keep in mind all the things that they've learned in case of an emergency and a disaster like this. Going from of another roadway. It looks